Hi everybody, Amanda here. Welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. And I am at Schoolie Palooza and I want to introduce my new setup to you in my 2011 Dodge Grand Caravan minivan camper conversion. If you haven't seen my initial video, please check it out. Um, it has about 115,000 views on it because turns out it's been pretty helpful for people. I built my van on a budget. Um, with no <laughs> skill required. So I want to show you the changes that I made. Like I said, if you haven't seen my original build, um, please look at the first video so you can see how it's different. I wanted to give you guys a quick tour while I'm out here at Schoolie Palooza because I'm currently, you know, living in my van out here in the desert. So it's really set up uh, for boondocking. The main change I made was I took my camping cot out. I took my cot out because it was just, it was causing more harm than good and I wasn't storing much under it. So I took the cot out and now I just have my trifold mattress leveled with a piece of birch wood. And birch wood does not um, soak up moisture like plywood will. So that's why I went with a piece of that. So now that my bed is technically on the floor, it's trifold, so I can also fold it up to be in a lounge position, but turns out I really like it just laying flat on the ground at all times. I'm using my orthopedic back pillow to get my work done. Sometimes I set it there. Sometimes I put my pillow up against my seat so I can lounge with my feet out and look out my trunk, but I'm really happy with the cot being on the floor. I have, it just feels so much bigger and I have so much more headspace and freedom to move around. I have my little AC unit running today because it is warm, uh, about 80 degrees and sunny. So um, I do have my AC unit. I have a video about it and it's that little box you see right there. I do have a video about it. So if you're interested, please go check that out. I am still using my Yeti as opposed to the 20 liter Alpacool fridge because so far I'm finding that I just like it better. I have my things set up over here. This is just my very basic camp setup outside of my van with my water, my sink, and just my, my cooking and my dishes stuff. So this is van life, so it's not all, you know, organized and perfect. And then of course, um, Winston is just relaxing. And I will show you the trunk. I have my DIY mosquito net up, which I also have a video about. So you can view that on my channel. Costed me less than $10 to make. It's just magnetic. So this is what it looks like back here now. Pretty much uh, the same looking, but I do have the shelf in here, but I, instead of having regular storage totes, I put the drawers in here and I put them sideways so they don't slide out when I'm driving. This igloo cooler stores my dry food and I can also put the igloo cooler long ways so and that's how I travel so I put the cooler long ways stack stuff on it and stack like my buckets and things here so that's where my storage things go when I'm in the van I just move the igloo cooler and stack everything in there I have my solar on top of my van today because, like I said, incredible sun. And I just have the cord going down into the window that plugs into my Jackery. I'm really loving how everything looks. I feel so happy. I feel so free. Everything is now reachable and accessible. And even though I just had the cot in there and that's only, that's one of the main changes, it's made a massive, massive difference. So nothing in the front has changed or anything like that. So please uh, view my other videos if you have questions about anything in particular. I have a lot of very helpful videos up. And you can find links to almost everything in my van in the video description. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you uh, follow us on Instagram. And Winston and I will catch you next time.